Now a handoff here to his running back. And they'll get this down to the 10. Now it appears we have a Steeler here slow to get up. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Lawson on the tackle. It's a loss of a yard. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. A great play there. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. Okay, we need to double check here with Marvin because he keeps all of our good stats. But what I've got is five drives, five touchdowns, and they've got a nice, healthy lead. Well, after the first drive, we thought things might be clicking. They're really clicking at this point. They're clicking about as much as they can click. And right I just now, said click a lot. Yes, you did, but that's okay because... Now a hit and a loose football. <laughs> this is my low, baby. And he's in for six and a Steeler touchdown. A big play there. Taking it in as his guys continue to pour it on. I'm glad we were paying attention during the rules seminar because we learned the only time you can't advance a fumble like that is in the last two minutes of either half. Right. Other than that, if that ball's out, whether forward or backwards, it's live and free for anybody. No doubt about it. When you say free, that means he's got free reign to pick it up and go. And that's exactly what happened there. Took it in for a touchdown. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. At their own 28-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. A little short pass. This is Everett. Now the ball comes loose. And it looks like Steeler football. It is. Complete. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. 23 yards on the play. Ten at the 42-yard line. They'll look to throw now on first down. Man open left side is Brown. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Fifteen more yards there and quickly another first down. They'll look to throw here on first down. Going to throw right side here, complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. 23 yards, the final tally. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Got his man, it's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Mark Andrews there to make the grab. And the Steelers offense, they continue to pour it on. I thought that was a nice job there, feeling the pressure and rolling out away from it and keeping the play alive. And I think he did it with the idea that his tight end would find his way free in the end zone, and his confidence was rewarded. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. On the return, here's White. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. 
And last time, the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Now Bengals on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third, and the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. Marcus Davenport picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big. Sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz. And even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz call and you still cover the screen, the Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 16 yards right off the bat with a first down. They'll set up to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. This is caught inside the 15. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. A big play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Now these have been no picnic for him so far. He's missed two, but this one is good. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. At their own 25-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And the Bengals first down. Burrow will throw. He'll drop this one down to Mixon. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. To Joe Mixon. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. First down, Bengals. Now it's Burrow. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. First down, Cincinnati. Again, it's Burrow. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. A gain of five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. At the 35-yard line. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. This defense really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get his running game going. And Burrow going to be hit and taken down. They got him. Marcus Davenport getting him once again, his third sack of the afternoon. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice the hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. A reminder, as we've done all year, we'll send you to Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report in a bit. The coach is with... And that's caught inside the 30. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Keith Brown, 
74 yards. And this offense continues to pour it on. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go. Uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Pulls it in at the 13. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. At their own 28-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. Marcus Davenport, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Now left side on the swing pass. Mixon hit, and all oh, the ball is out. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Marquise Brown with his second touchdown here in this first half. And this offense is running away with this one. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Boswell good with the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Here's White. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. First and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Ready to go on offense. Out come the Bengals. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. <laughs> a big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That could be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Now Burrow to throw on second down. Now Burrow loses the football. And it looks like Steeler football. It is. The quarterback sack. Fumble on the play. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. His throw incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Somebody to and caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And this Steelers offense is running away with this one. And the route is on here in this first half. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it ends with a Pittsburgh touchdown. Chris Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Very short kick. Now a hit and a loose football. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And it's picked up by the Steelers. By and us. careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try to. Chris Boswell on for the point after. 
It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Extra point put through by Boswell. And a round is on here in this first half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. Under pressure, they got him again. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Joe Burrow on third and long. Now Burrow loses the football. And it looks like Steeler football. It is. The quarterback taken down in sack. A fumble on the play. Recovered. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. Right hash mark of 42-yard attempt. Boswell's kick is good. So they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further. So how about the turn of events there at the end of the half? This is one where you go charging into your locker room having collected three points you didn't expect to get. And you look across the field and you see guys kind of pointing fingers at each other like, dude, how'd you turn it over and make us give up three right there? A fairly short kick from the 14. 